Okay, good morning. Assalamualaikum. On this video, I want to show you how to do the reverse equation. So, it's easy for you to use it uh, rather than you do the algebra calculation. Uh, over here, we got the simple function. Okay, simple equation. Y equal to blah, 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 blah. And now, uh, we want to... We will now we 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 make the x as a variable and the y is the result. Okay, the x let's say this one or five lah, five. Okay, and we just input the function equal minus two plus square root. This one it is square root sqrt, and then Open the bracket, 16 minus, open the bracket again, the x minus 3, and then square, and then close the bracket. Just hit enter. Okay, now we, we have the this function on the, this cell, on the B7 cell, but, uh, uh, over here we just can we just can uh, we just can change this cell only like we put um, six it will return something seven and then eight uh, or eight is can because either will be imaginary value because inside the square root cannot be less than zero okay let's say four and so on and so on let me just input five now I want the y value is close or exactly 1. How much is x? Okay. That's the problem. Now, we don't we don't need to make like algebra equation for this like y would be the after minus 2 16 x minus 3 square equal to minus 2 and then bracket Okay, square all of it, blah blah blah, and so on. We don't need to do this. Okay, what we need is you find the data tab and then you you will find the what if analysis. Okay, and then you click the goal seek. After that, you set cell what cell you want, want to uh, the objective. On this case, is B7 cell to value 1. And then by changing the variable is B6 cell. Just click OK. Uh, very nice. Now we got the value close to 1. We have to have X is 5.6, so on and so on. Okay? This is the first method. And the second method is we use the solver function. Okay, this solver. If you can't find your solver on your Excel, you can. Click the File tab, and then Options, and then Add-ins, and then Excel Add-ins, and then click Go. Make sure this have to check, okay? Like this, and then click OK. Okay, after you check that box, this Solver button, uh, solver button will show up, okay? Now I want to show you how the second method. Just click the solver, and then the set the objective. The B7, the value is one, okay. And by changing the cell of B6, just click the solve. Ah, very nice. That <laughs> we can see now. As you can see, we have the Y value is one, so the X value must be five. Point six something. Okay, it's very useful for you for another equation for the complex equation for the complex function. No need to reverse manually. You just click the goal seek or the solver. The goal seek is very easy for the like this the linear or the simple function, but the solver you can use it for the more complex function. There is so much uh, feature here like add, change, delete, and then the solving method. There's so many. Okay, you can you can 
uh, find it, find by yourself which one is suitable for you. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope uh, I hope this video is useful for you. If you like my content, just put like on my video or subscribe my channel. If you have any question, just put the question on the comment. Okay, thank you.